Abbot Somnuk says he's facing the consequences of global warming every day and praying for a solution is just about all he can do now. This is his Buddhist temple, Bot Kun Samutrawat near Bangkok, badly flooded at high tide. The monks tried to build a wall around it, but the sea at high tide rises right over it. The abbot's not sure what's causing the flooding. Some scientists say the island could be sinking, but they also say global warming and rising sea levels are making the problem worse. I don't know if the temple will exist in the next 10 years, he says. All I can do is concentrate on helping to preserve it. Beyond the temple, an entire village has been lost. Now, just the electricity poles are visible. Those flags show where a school used to stand, now an underwater hazard. The villagers have moved the school buildings three times since the 1970s, but the sea just keeps advancing. These girls have been forced to move house. When I ask how many of their classmates have a similar story, a third of them raise their hands. And it's not just in Thailand. Catastrophes are unfolding around the world. 8,000 kilometers to the east, this is the remote Pacific nation of Kiribati. It's also being swallowed by the sea. The government is looking into abandoning the entire country. We never wished to be refugees. And we would be refugees if we don't do anything now. The scientists have said that in 50 years, Kiribati will submerge underwater. That's not a, a happy thought. It's hard said it, to leave where you come from. Almost 100,000 people from Kiribati are preparing to evacuate, scattering to host countries around the world. Back on Thailand's low-lying coast, there's no stopping the rising sea. The people here say global warming and rising sea levels aren't just theoretical threats in the future, they're happening right now. They don't know how much longer this temple will survive for, because like in so many other poor countries around the world, here they simply don't have the resources to build huge seawalls to hold back the ocean. It is the poorest people in the poorest countries who stand to lose everything to global warming. Dam Rivers, CNN, Samut Prakan, Thailand.